Hello guys, it's Andrea and today in another episode of Hot Low. In this episode you will see me and my friends running towards a heli crash. But while we were going to the heli crash we spotted two rangers and see what happens. I see a player. Player? Oh, get down, get down, get down. I, see, I think there are more. Two, yeah, two, two guys. Two yeah, I see them. Two guys. I see them. Tell me when you're ready to engage. Yeah, okay. They didn't see us. No, no. we should get get behind them and get a better angle. Oh, I'm perfect here. Okay, let me, let me move first. Okay, when you have a clear shot, just shoot. Yeah, okay. okay. Whoa. I got one. Oh, why didn't you say so? No, but it wasn't me shooting first. That one is just in front of us. He's behind the bushes? Yes. I don't see him, man. After killing the first ranger, the other one was still hiding around the bushes and the reeds. But since you can use the third person view to look around you, I thought to myself it has no reason to run away right now. So what I decided to do is to get closer, try to spot him because it didn't know I was coming to get him and I had two snipers covering me. So I decided to rush and see what happens. Disconnected or what? Oh no. Oh! Shooting at me. Where the fuck is he? he left of me. If you look to Whoa, me left. I, he he uh, stopped me once. Lying there on the ground or what? I don't know. I can see only the dead one. It's down. Nice. Many people are scared to go on close range engagements, and the reason is simple because it's more dangerous. But I think close range engagements are necessary, especially if you are in a group. And I think they are also more exciting. And there is one really interesting thing about uh, survival games in general. When you have the best weapon that the game can offer, the best gadgets, the best loot, the best armor, everything that you need uh, to kill all the players, that's when you're gonna be the most fearful, when you don't wanna engage other people. And I understand that because you don't want to lose all the stuff that you uh, fought to get all the time, you know. And people just uh, get scared and they don't want to engage with the best weapons. And uh, to me, this is ridiculous. Because you got the best weapons, yeah, but they are not just for shot. You want to use them against other people. There is no, no point of just having the weapons without using them. Anyway, that's just my experience. Maybe I say that because uh, I'm a really bad sniper, but <laughs> you never know. Anyway, guys, once uh, we were going uh, towards the heli crash, we spot another guy. Let's see what happens. Player, yeah, I see a player on the top of the hill. Where, where, Behind where, where, the where bush, to bush, uh, south, directly south. Let me kill him. Hans, <laughs> can I shoot? If you see him? Oh, yeah. I see him too. He's where, to where, us. Where? What? Uh, behind the truck. He's looking to me, man. I need to shoot. Got him. Okay, nice. Another advice I want to give you guys. Always be aware of your surroundings. Because you never know what's going to happen. Many people expect all the players to be on the airport. Maybe on Kavala, maybe on the ghost hotel. But they never expect all the people to be on the open field in the middle of nowhere. And that's when they're gonna die because being aware, just stopping for a minute and watching around can save your life and can get you a lot of kills. 
So that's it guys, I hope you liked the video. I'm sorry if I've been a little bit inactive this week because I, my sister got married. It was a beautiful marriage and I've been away for three, four days. And I've been, I will be more active from now on and uh, there will be a lot of more videos. And that's it guys, thank you for watching and see you on the next video.